America. We are the Dear You to Move team. Mackenzie's recording. This is Jessica Hello. and Courtney. And this hey guys. is Alicia. I am Alicia. Okay. We have just received the biggest dare out of this whole entire trip. Mm -hmm. Okay. We are in Castleton, North Dakota. And God is blowing our minds. So <laughs> I need you to listen carefully because we're going to need your help. So hear the story out and just you wait. Okay, so today we are passing by um, a journalist station. And God said, Alicia, pull over, go walk into the journalist station. So pull over, we walk in there, and I ask and I ask them, I say, Do you know anybody in the community that, you know, could use some help, whether that's financial or just like, you know, anything, anything, big or small. She said, you know, I don't know anybody personally, but community of Carrie down the street, they they know a lot of people, mostly elderly people, but sometimes there's some yard work, you know, different things. Um, and she's like, but if you end up doing anything, you should let us know because we would love to, like, publish a newspaper article about it. So we're like, awesome. So we march on down the community of care, and we see the <laughs> lady at the desk, and she is talking to someone. So we're waiting outside her door, and once she gets off the phone, we walk in, we introduce ourselves, and we say, we were wondering if you know anybody that needs like just some company, just needs some, you know service, or needs financial help. And she stopped right there at financial help, and she said, are you being serious? You like financial help? And we're like, yeah, like totally. And she said, I just got the phone with a woman who has a baby girl who is in the middle of getting a heart, trans a heart transplant, and they are in deep need of financial help. And we were just like, this what? is it, guys. This is it. Yeah. And so they said, she's actually right down at the bank, down the street. Uh, let me give her a call, and let me see if she's available. And so she said, come on down, and we got to meet her. Yeah, so we walked down into this bank, and um, this mom is just working there, and she just starts to tell us her story about how, you know, she has like an eight-month girl, and she all of a sudden starts having heart problems, and they have to go to the hospital, and then all of a sudden they're going four hours away each day to go to the hospital, and it just touched my heart. Like, that is so much work for one mom, and single, or she's not a single mom, but she's the only mom working in the family, and God just really laid it on our hearts. Like, this is a dare. This is, we are going to help her financially, and yeah, and her daughter's name is crazy yeah so her name is ember rain which is which is crazy because it's like fire and rain and god told us that we're going to send fire to america and rain blessings on people so get ready to meet little ember rain <laughs> hi my name is joni perry um ember rain was you know just a little baby um, she was very, very happy, very active, growing just like she should have been. At her six month checkup, we found out that she had a heart murmur, so they wanted us to see a pediatric cardiologist. Um, that following Wednesday, we went to meet with them and they did some tests, and we found out that she had an enlarged heart, and she also had some fluid in her lungs because of that. So they wanted us to go to Minneapolis, Minnesota, at the children's hospital there, to do some more tests to find out exactly what's going on, which is about four hours away. So we were able to get arrangements for our three-year-old son. My husband and I took the baby down to the hospital and after more tests, they found out she had what's called a non-compacted cardiomyopathy, which is very rare. And what that basically means is the heart walls didn't develop properly. So there's a lot of leaking and things that shouldn't be going where they are and it enlarges the heart, makes it work a lot harder. Um, at any time she could have had heart attack or anything, we wouldn't have known. So we started treatment. Um, they thought we would just be able to control it with medications. Ended up sending us home. About a day and a half later, we ended up having to go back because of some complications. We actually got to take a helicopter ride, Ember and I, and then Daddy drove down separately. And found out she was dehydrated from all the medications, so they put in a feeding tube. Didn't work had some more complications. Um, that next Saturday, about you know, it was three or four days, whatever, she um, went to cardiac arrest at 3 a.m. and they put her on life support. It's probably one of the scariest days of my entire life. Um, during this journey, we have had so many ups and downs. 
at least 10 times we thought we lost her due to complications. Um, God has been leading us in so many different directions and bringing people into our lives to give us hope. And it, it, it's just been a fluke with everything that's been happening recently. Um, they were able to take her off the life support. So now her heart is pumping, but it's very weak and it's very unstable. Um, she is on the transplant list, but she is a rare blood type. She's O positive. And they're doing everything in their power to prevent any more complications for her. Um, she'll be eight months here on the 7th of, uh, of June. You know, we were very limited income. My husband actually left work to try to take care of our kids for us because of our financial situation. Daycare is extremely expensive. Um, so right now I'm the only income. It's very hard to be away from her having to work to pay the insurance premiums because thank the Lord, insurance has been covered 100% as of now. Um, we don't know what the medical costs are going to be going forward. We don't know, you know, if our vehicle is going to hold out with driving back and forth to Minneapolis. I don't know that I'll be able to pay daycare costs and different things. We've had some family and friends help out, but there's just so many unknowns and we are just, we're struggling. We're struggling a lot and it's just a fluke that these lovely ladies walked in that I was just talking to Melissa at Community of Care and she called me back and I didn't know what to believe and they came in and told me their story and their journeys and way they helped other people in Castleton already and just the way that they even found me here and various things with her name because it's fire and water and they've had <laughs> different stories that God's been leading them on with those two two things and I'm I'm still in awe. I God is good. That's all I can say. God is good mm -hmm. and I can't believe what's going to be happening. Mm -hmm. I really can't. I just want my baby to get better. Mm -hmm. Okay, America, so this is how you can help. We're going to be setting up a GoFundMe site for Little Ember Rain, and we are going to ask that everybody pours in as much money as they feel led to, and we are going to bless this family beyond their wildest dreams, because God is good, and God works through his people, and you are his people. So we need your help. We need you to share this video. We need you to share the fundraising place, the fun fundraising site and we need you to help us we need prayer we need you to be so enthusiastic about this like we are and we dare you to move and we want you to be a part of this journey because God is about to do something great and you are going to be a part of it